This video is recorded in 2023 as a job aid for the GISS workflow. It will cover how to edit event lines in the offline copy of the training GISS edit service. There are many ways to construct event lines in ArcGIS Pro. I'll cover how to use the trace tool, the replace sketch tool, and how to georeference a markup map and heads up digitize a line. Always remember to sync in your edit project before starting any edits. First, I have some information that Operations wants to use Forest Road for November 05 as road as line. So I'll navigate to the Create Features button on the Edit tab on the ribbon, and I'll find the Plan Road as Line feature template since no work has been done on the road yet. I'll be tracing this line along a road feature that's in my vector base data, so I'll change the map method to digitize topo. Then I'll locate the road in question and zoom in. Then I'll select the trace tool from the construction toolbar at the bottom of my screen. When tracing features, it's important to be mindful of your snapping settings or you can just turn layers off in your table of contents that you don't want to snap to while tracing. I'll click once on the end of the road segment that I want to start tracing, and then I'll hover along the road segment, panning as I need to using the scroll wheel on my mouse. Don't feel like you have to complete the line in one go. You can always stop your line by clicking once. and then click again to keep tracing. Double click to complete the line. Save your edits often. Next, I've got a shape file of the Temporary Flight Restriction, or TFR, that I've downloaded from the FAA's website that I'll add into my map. TFR shapes from the FAA are always going to be polygons, but the TFR feature in the National Incident Feature Service is a line feature. I'll turn off some of my base data for a minute and then go and find the Temporary Flight Restriction feature template from my Create Features pane, update the map method, right-click on the TFR shape, select Replace Sketch, and then use F2 on my keyboard to finish the line. I can go into the Attributes and add the NOTAM or Notice to Airmen number in the Comments field to keep track. then save my edits and remove the TFR shapefile from the map. You may encounter that some folks find it easier to sketch data updates on a hard copy map rather than use field maps to enter data. Sometimes it might be easy to just eyeball that marked up map and digitize the update in ArcGIS Pro. Other times you may want to take a photo of the markup map and geo-reference it so that you can heads up digitize more accurately. I took a photo of a markup map that I'll add to my table of contents. To geo-reference it, navigate to the imagery tab on the ribbon and click the geo-reference button. Click fit to display to get the image to appear on the map. If it's hard to tell which is the image and which is the data in your offline copy, toggle the image on and off until it's clear. The easiest way to georeference an image is to add control points based on PLSS section corners, but if you don't have that as an option, you can use obvious boundary corners like the Forest Service boundary here. First click on the image, then on the data in the offline copy where you want the image to be georeferenced to. Repeat this process until you have enough control points to where your image is more or less matching the data in your offline copy. 
In addition to boundary corners, you can also use event points as control points, as well as road intersections. When you're satisfied with the georeferencing, save it, and then close the georeferencing menu. This orange line here is what I'm going to create as a completed dozer line. So I'll go and find the completed dozer line feature template. I'll use the line construction button since I don't actually have any data to trace against. This is just an image and I'll start clicking along the line until I get to the end of the sketch and then I'll double click to finish. Using the attribute pane, I'll update the map method to hand sketch and click apply. Save your edits. Then remove the markup map from the table of contents. Update the attributes for the lines you just created and check for any new features from field maps. If you didn't use a calculated expression for the incident name in your web map in the NIFSI org, you may still need to check and update the incident name field. Check your Irwin ID field. Also check the feature status field. Any features coming in through field maps will display with the status of proposed and after checking those with your situation unit leader, update them using the attribute pane to approved. Be sure to save your edits. And now that I'm done editing, I'll navigate to the map tab on the ribbon and sync my edits back to the National Incident Feature Service.